Hey everybody, we're back, and today we're going to be going over how to make these eraser head goggles from the popular anime, My Hero Academia. These templates that I will be using are my own design. They will be available from Etsy shop. A link will be down below. So if you want to get them and follow along, feel free to do so. So without any further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, everybody, so I got my templates cut out and already pinned into the foam. For this project, you're going to need six millimeter, and four millimeter, and you don't need a lot of it. This should be enough right here. Uh, I might need a tiny bit more for, but we'll find out. Everything about these templates is a straight cut, except for two things, and that is points one and two on both of these, where it's an inward cut and an inward cut, so that way it forms the angle needed. I'm gonna use the pen for the four millimeter just because I like it, but for the six millimeter, we're gonna use this. So let's just go ahead and cut this out right here. Straight cut straight cut and straight cut this is an inward cut and this is an inward cut but then the rest of it is again just straight cuts following along on the lines as best as you can nothing really to it the other thing you're going to do for these lenses before you even unpin it or anything uh, and you're going to want to do this this way instead of drawing the outline with the sharpie because you have to cut out these squares so that you can see. Right in, right on the inside here. There you go. And that should just pop right out. So we're gonna do it for the rest of these. Off screen, we'll go ahead and cut these pieces out. The frames for lenses, nose ridge, and the connecting pieces for the lenses. So everything is again just a straight cut. And again, these pieces are four millimeter foam. These are thinner than the other bits follow along the line. I meant to use the pin for this. Just because the pin can get around these curves a little better since it's not as big and bulky. Straight cut. And then for these, when you get the detail in, uh, what you want to do for these is you holes. As you poke the holes, you'll be making little holes into the actual foam. So that when you lift off the paper, you'll have all the little dots and you just connect the dots with the with the blade and you form the pieces and then when you heat that up it shows where everything is so we'll go ahead and cut out the nose ridge connects everything in the middle obviously and this is the only piece of this that you need right here all right so we got it so let's just do the other side and then we'll show you how to put it together and everything else all right everybody we've got all our pieces cut out i've already heat formed it now we're just going to glue it all together you're gonna have four of these pieces to go on top and bottom, top and bottom, nose ridge, and then the frames. So the way that it's gonna work is just gluing together this side with this one with the inner angle cuts, connecting together once it's dried and that forms the angle just like that. So then when that's done, you glue around the edges here and the inside here and you lay it in like this and then you know, like that. And that forms, that connects the frames together better. So we're gonna go over and glue all of this. And then once it's dry, I will show you what it looks like and then we'll get onto painting and everything. All right, we got it all glued together. Uh, it's very simple, like I said, you just attach these corners, then these bits onto the edges here to where they're inside. And then the frames right here in the nose connector. All of it fits together perfectly fine. For the inside, to give it the lens, the lenses the extra look, we're gonna be using a black mesh. And then for the strap, it's just gonna be an elastic strap that you just cut to the size of your head to where it fits you properly. So, but first we gotta prime and paint it, and we'll be right back with that. All right, so we got it all painted and everything. Uh, my camera kinda <laughs> died, apparently, in the middle of recording it, so we're just gonna have to go over the end bits of what I did. I used, I believe it was called like a sun-kissed yellow spray paint after spraying it down with the gray primer. Um, you can use whatever yellow you want, obviously, whatever you think is best. I just thought this looked the best. Then I went over it on the edges with black uh, and I just hand painted that. I just hand painted that with a little sponge brush and some black plaid effects paint. Then, like I said before, uh, the inside is just the inside is just a mesh fabric, which you can't really see with the camera. But when back here, when it's on me, you can see perfectly fine. 
that way they can't see your eyes as easily, you can see out easily. And then the elastic band is just glued down with some Loctite, because I finally got more Loctite. And size to my head, perfectly fine. So yeah, see, you can't really see my eyes too well, but I can see out perfectly fine. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the eraser head goggles from My Hero Academia. Hey everyone, if you liked that video, please remember to subscribe and click that notification bell down below so you can keep up to date with all my content. And if you want to see what I do outside of YouTube, you can follow me on Instagram at Cosplay. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.